Well, welcome to All Classic Car, and here we've got a collection of classic Saabs, and we begin with a pale blue Saab 92. This was at the Classic Car Show at the NEC just like two or three years ago. Here we have a Saab 95 V4 Estate on period mini light looking wheels. I think these were by Ronal. Review now of a 1972 Saab 99 two door saloon, quite an unusual colour. There's a front view of the same car. And a Saab Sonnet, first of several of these to appear here. This is a two stroke car from 1966 to 1969. V4 powered Saab 96 here from 1972, dark green. The first of two photos of a 900 Turbo Carlson. Carlson because of Eric Carlson, the famous rally driver who you often used to race the two stroke 96s. Review of the same car, these were also available in the red or black. And there was also the 9000 Carlson both tuned up versions of the standard cars. Then we've got a fairly early V496 with the uh, all chrome bumpers. And this is the 95 bullnose two-stroke van that I rescued at the beginning of the 1990s. This went on to be restored and is now in a museum over in America and it's the only survivor. One of three, here it is restored condition, one of three imported in 1962 when Saab GB was set up. There is a video about this car or this van on the channel, so please look that out as well. And JDP, this is a Saab 99 Turbo two-door in black. Rear view of the same car, this is from about 1980 or 81. Here we have XVV433. This is a Saab 92 prototype from 1949, one of three surviving prototypes. So it's on the Saab Owners Club stand. And a very rare early Saab 900 Turbo here, V Reg, so about 1979. This is the three door car that had the Inca Alley wheels. Uh, lots of slight differences compared to the later cars. And there's a rear view of the same car, small back lights, narrow rubbing strips down the doors. Uh, many detail differences compared to the later 900s. Side view now of a 96 rally car, a V4 powered rally car. And judging by the RAC International Rally of Great Britain 1971 sticker on the side, it's a period rally car. Now we've got a bright yellow Saab Sonnet. This is a Sonnet 3 with the V4 engine and the pop-up headlamps. The earlier cars were two-stroke and had exposed circular headlamps. And at Cape Stone Hall recently we spotted this Saab 9000 Turbo. Very rarely seen at car shows. Um, this is the only photo I think I've got of the 9000. And a fairly early Saab 99 here, J registration, so that'll be 1970, with the 1709cc four-cylinder engine under its bonnet. Here's a proper rarity. This is a 1960 Saab 95 two-stroke bullnose estate left-hand drive car. Probably the only one in this country, I can't imagine there's more than one or two here. Very rare, very practical, and very interesting little car. This 99 Combi Coupe three-door we spotted driving through Porto a few years ago, so we grabbed a camera and managed to take a couple of photos as it drove by. Really immaculate example. Back to rallying, we've got another V4 Saab 96 here. Next up, a two-door red 99 Turbo wire registration, so about 1982. These were available in this country in either red or black, but other colours were available elsewhere. Now we've got a two-stroke bullnose rally car at the top left, and GRO, GRU 663D, that's a 96 long-nose two-stroke. Here's another two-stroke bullnose, this is a 
850 GT or Gran Turismo 850 in some markets. I think here it was sold as a Saab Sport. Another V4 powered Saab 96 here on Mini Light Lookalike wheels. That's from 1973. Carry on with these classic Saabs. I've got another early Saab 99 here from about 1969. This is a two door saloon. Early sonnet in the background. Don't see these too often now. This is a two door saloon version of the Saab 900i on earlier Inca Alley wheels as fitted to the 99 turbos and the three door early 900 turbos. Next up, a 1966 long nose two stroke Saab 96. That's my old 1985 900 turbo three door eight valve car. Uh, it still shows as being registered with DVLA, but I don't think it's around anymore, sadly. This was at the Alton Park Gold Cup only recently, a 1963 or 64 Bullnose 96. Two-stroke car, obviously. And at the same Gold Cup meeting is this 99 Turbo S registration, so that'll be on 1977-78, a three-door. This has been appearing at shows for at least 20 years that I can remember. Here's a rear view of the same car as a show a few years back. Uh, different colour wheels, but the same car. Here we've got a totally standard four-door 99L of the early 1970s. Same colour as the two-door car that my uncle shoehorned the Dolomite Sprint engine into back in the 1980s, I think that was. Now a 1973 Saab 96 V4 here. This is a 1966 V4 powered Saab 96. Visually it looks the same as the long nose two stroke, but this is the V4 car. It's a rare color for a Saab 99 two door. This is 99L left hand drive. This was at the Cape Storm Hall classic car show only a couple of weeks ago. This rarity was spotted at the NEC. This is a five door 99 turbo, super, super rare car. Peek under the bonnet here of a two stroke 96. Continuing with these classic Saabs, still got a few more to go. Here's a slopey fronted 900 turbo with the airflow kit. I do like these old 900s, the pre GM 900s. Got an all white 96 V4. This was at the Western Park Classic Car Show in the late 2000s. Just a little bit of tin worm beginning to appear on the front wings. And spotted at the Alton Park Gold Cup many years ago is this W registration 99 Turbo. It still shows as being registered but off the road. Uh, first registered in June 81, but where is it now? And here we have a Shropshire registered 1972 Saab 95 V4 Estate. Great car, very, very original car, I seem to remember. And back to the NEC, we've got 720 UYO, that's a 1954 Saab 92. The aviation heritage with the aerodynamic designs of those early Saabs is clear to see. And here we have a 900 Turbo 16S of the early 1980s. I found this mouldering away at a local garage and I could have bought it, but every panel was rotten, so probably best that I didn't. And then we've got a 96, a V4 powered car from August 1967. Close up look at a three door 99 turbo from 1978. Those fog lamps are an extra, an extra. Unusual green Saab 96 here. This uh, EY registration means it comes from North Wales. NREG, about 1974 car. And this classic Saab 99 four door GL uh, was down at the Haynes Motor Museum. Not often you see them in brown. Another 96 V4, this one with the later safety bumpers, big chunky rubber bumpers. And a bright yellow Saab Sonnet here. This is the V4 powered car with the large bonnet bulge to clear the Ford engine. The earlier two stroke didn't need that. This one is a 1966 two stroke long nose Saab 96. 
just see a slight haze of blue smoke on the left there. Now a 1981 two-door Saab 99, quite a late example of the breed. The later GM 900 alongside. That is Dad's old 900 Turbo from 1979, a very, very early car. Uh, long since scrapped, I believe, but the registration plate still lives on on the wall of my garage. And here's the same Saab towing a Sonnet V4 to a Saab Owners Club meeting years and years ago. The gentleman on the right there used to run the local branch of the Saab Club. Next up, a 1972 Green 96. Just a few more Saabs to go. In the rear three quarter view now of a 1973 four door Saab 99. There's a slopey front 900 turbo in the background. There's a front view of the same four door 99L. And to round up this collection of classic Saab photos, we've got a race prepared 900 turbo at the top left and another bright red 99 Turbo at the bottom right. I hope that collection of 60 plus photos of classic Saabs was of interest. Like I say, I've got a soft spot for the old Saabs and it's a shame they're no longer around. Uh, please check out the other videos on the channel. Uh, more videos like this very soon. Bye for now.